Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Maurice Dimba and today I'm going to show you a quicker way to create a fuel storage steel tank in Tecla structures and the best tool or macro to apply in creating these. Let's get started and I'll go straight to where I normally access or normally where we normally access our, our tools here. Now, I'll just come straight here and look for uh, the tank. I'll just type any type of a tank in that letter and this will come up storage tank. Then I'll just double click on it. Just drag that one aside. Then I'll bring this aside now to feed in my parameters. And uh, in this case, uh, I'll, I'll be talking about the shell cores. I'll be talking about the center column. The center column is, is the column that will be will be installed right at the center here to hold all the all the rafters that will be supporting the conical shape of the roof and also the spiral stairway which will be tackled later on so today just to i want just to let us uh, to let you know on uh, on a way to get started right away now if you take a look on the on this you, you can see we have parameters and we have the general so on the account layer this is the shell courses which we have one two three four and five we have uh, approximately six of them one two three four five six there should be six and the thickness of the plate we've uh, should be uh, approximately 20 millimeter thick and uh, the radius here you can feed maybe if you want 20 uh, 20 meters radius or of uh, or 40 meter diameter you just feed 20 right there so in this case we'll, we'll work with a 30 meter diameter so in this case we'll feed 15 meters radius and the angle will just leave it at 40 or number of plates you can you have options uh, arc length you can feed the arc length if you want you work with, if you want to work with arc length if you want to work with the number of plates it's optional but i normally prefer working with the angles it's easy to adjust and uh, to, to arrange the course uh, the shell courses and uh, play around with everything now in this particular case we have the shell courses count six and the rotation of 20 here now we'll come to parameters inside parameters here we'll feed this is uh, by default you'll find this empty so it is upon you to feed whatever you want here so this is the thickness of the plate and this is the height of the plate the height i mean the the course the uh, the, the height or the width of the plate from this end to that end so what I'm, what I'm going to feed here is just the thickness of the shell course plate. So once I've fed it there, I'll just right click and come to copy and I'll feed and I'll paste it here. I'll just go ahead and paste everything here. Just go straight and this will be the height of the plate from that end to that end. So what I'm going to do, I'll just go ahead and click apply or modify once I've done that. So if you're con or if you're happy with everything you've seen here just go ahead and click modify apply and accept and you pick the position where you intend to place uh the tank so we'll place it right there and this is how it will look and we don't need that once again so what we are going to do this is the exact sp spot to start from uh, if i turn if you turn inside here you cannot see you, you, you we've not placed uh, the base plates the the plates that forms the floor of our tank that one will be placed later on so this is how it looks and i uh, want to we'll just go ahead and double click on it once again to adjust everything here so we want to add the shell courses the, to add the shell courses we just come here and add uh, the layer counts maybe you want eight of them and remember maximum is 10 and the rest is now being adjusted by the height of our by the height of the, the shell plates now i'll put it to 10 which is maximum right there and i'll go ahead and click modify and you can see the adjustments it's very small and because we've just added some few courses on top and we've not uh, we've not defined their specifications maybe the thick uh, the thickness and the height or the width of the plate so it has picked the default settings for the added courses now what we'll go we'll, we'll do we we'll just go back to parameters and we'll copy this select on this and add to the added 
uh, courses so I'll go ahead and, and paste all this here paste all that here paste all that here then we'll come and add the height of of the plate here just paste paste them here then go ahead and click modify and apply and you'll find it being uh, reflected here so this is the, the default color and this can be changed by just double clicking on the screen and coming to representation here and uh, and and pick here and come to and come to you pick uh, uh, the best color for you maybe you want the gray that one and apply and give it an okay and this is how it will look now in this case but I do, I'm not happy with this I would prefer the default setting so I'll double click here and come back to where I was and uh, pick on this and uh, pick as is apply modify and I'll be back where I was so I'll right click click here and, and uh, apply and fit everything to working area so this is how this one will look and next uh, tutorial or the next step I'll be showing you how to place how to place the bottom end plate that forms the floor of our tank and how, how to place the center column that will be holding the rafters for the rooftop of our tank and also will be uh, I'll be walking you through on how to create uh, this uh, the spiral stairway for 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 a steel tank here you can see on the screen here now for now uh, that's enough for today and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, I hope you've learned something and uh, a short way to create a simple tank as this thanks a lot and don't forget to subscribe and my name is Maurice Dimba and don't forget to subscribe once again and bye bye and thank you for watching.